I'm a cardiologist, uh, married. I've got two boys and we have two dogs. We like traveling. Um, usually take uh, at least one family big vacation uh, each year, go somewhere nice, uh, somewhere we haven't been before. Um, uh, otherwise, I like movies, um, taking the dogs out for a walk. My specialty is cardiac electrophysiology, um, but my interest also includes uh, heart failure. I've been electrophysiology for almost 20 years and practicing in that field uh, here in Montgomery since December 99. There are many facets to electrophysiology. Electrophysiology deals with heart rhythm disorder and it comes in uh, various uh, uh, fashion. Of, uh, it could be slow, it could be fast, it could be irregular and all of that can lead to some not only benign but pretty malignant symptoms. So a patient can present with simple palpitations or that patient can present with sudden cardiac arrest. Pacemaker is indicated in patients who have slow heart rate and have symptoms because of slow heart rate. That can include dizziness, fatigue, or it can also include a passing out spells. The pacemakers come in different forms. The conventional pacemaker includes a generator and a lead or a wire, but the newer pacemakers are leadless pacemakers. These are tiny capsule-like pacemakers that are delivered through a vein from the leg and directly into the heart. The pacemaker is uh, it's going to help them uh, prevent the symptoms that they presented with. So if they presented with a passing out spell, it's going to prevent them from passing out. If their presenting symptom was more fatigue and lack of energy from slow heart rate, a pacemaker will alleviate that uh, fatigue and uh, tiredness. AFib or atrial fibrillation is an abnormal heart rhythm in which patients have erratic, irregular, sometimes fast or sometimes slow heart rate. It is associated with symptoms of palpitations, shortness of breath, fatigue, or heart failure. Treatment includes medications. Sometimes ablation is done. Ablation is a procedure where we put uh, catheters inside the heart to map the areas where atrial fibrillation is originating from or cauter and cauterize or freeze that tissue inside the heart, preventing its spread to other parts of the heart.